Welcome to Dynamic Auto Painter 7. In this series, we will go through the major new features in bite-sized videos. In this video, we will talk about some smaller features. With so many new additions in version 7, there are a few features that you might have missed. When you load a transparent image, the alpha channel is preserved for later use and can be merged with the painted result. If you choose Save Special, Save Plus Input Alpha, the transparency channel from the input image will be included in the output. To easily add transparency to the detail brushes, go to the Template Editor, Dry Reveal section, and lower the opacity value. Make sure the Combine PM with Detail Mask is on. This works with the new automatic masks as well, changing the opacity of the masks. By the way, in version 7, these two values were swapped so that they correspond to the other values above. You can also use the panel to quickly add the opacity value to the interface. Look in the portrait mask selection. Another addition is a content-aware brush size. When it is enabled, as it is now, the brush's size is determined not only by the size graph, but also by the image complexity. The size graph still applies, but smaller brushes will be preferred when painting more complex areas. When it is turned off, as it is now, the brushes behave as they did in the previous version. This option is labeled Smart in the template editor. Additionally, a smart brush size monitor can be found in the panel, and it will show you where the smaller brushes will be applied, as indicated by the black color. Speaking of brush sizes, the size graph was previously shared by the main template and all of its variations. This can be overridden in version 7, and each variation can have its own size graph. Use the Save Exclusive for this Variation button when editing a variation. In version 7, a template can have its own custom outline and layer values. This is a two-step process. First paint the image, then modify the outline to your liking. Apply to the painting. Now navigate to the Template Editor. Select the Post tab and click the Grab Current button. The current outline will be saved as Custom and it will be used automatically. This is also true for layers. Set any layer combination you want. Then, grab current and store it within the preset. Each variation can have its own unique custom preset. During the painting, you may notice some changes and additions to the mouse-assisted painting. The auto brush is a weak form of manual assistance. It will advise the painter to concentrate more on the area under the cursor, but the auto painter can disregard it. The Area Auto Brush was previously named the Forced Auto Brush, and it is now much more assertive. It will strongly direct the painter's attention to a larger area around the cursor. The new Fine Area Auto Brush not only shrinks the focus area around the cursor, but also temporarily reduces the brush size. This is a great way to add small details to specific areas. A new step called Adjust Input for Detail Cycle has been added to the Insert Effects tab of Template Editor. This allows you to apply a reactor effect to the input image just before the auto painter begins painting the detail brushes. It tells the auto painter that the scene's colors have changed. If you make the image darker, the detail brushes will be darker as well, and if you completely change the color, 
the Auto Painter will paint the detail layer in new colors. If you watch the Mosaic Engine video, you'll see how it was used in the letters preset. Well, we are out of time. To get notified about any new software updates, sales and promotions, head to MediaChance.com and subscribe to our newsletter. Stay creative and see you soon!